How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again, back with another experimental type video. I like doing videos where I get together the 10 best cars in certain categories, like 10 surprisingly fast, 10 cheapest cars, 10 fastest and so on. And it seems like all of you enjoy these type of videos because it takes a quite a bit of time to actually gather the information and get this list together. Today I've got quite an interesting one. We are showing the 10 lightest cars in the game. I fully upgraded every single car that had a chance of being the lightest car in the game and I have written down the 10 cars which were the lightest after they were fully upgraded or only upgraded with things that make it lighter and we've got the top 10 list ready. I will say the Peels, the Reliant and the Isetta are not in this top 10. We're going to showcase them at the end because I've made them extremely light but the top 10 don't include those. We've got just normal kind of race sporty cars here that are extremely light. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in to the top 10 lightest cars possible in Forza Horizon 4. Number 10 on the list we have the Opel Cadet, the one that's actually Oliver, also known as Richard Hammond's lover. If you upgrade this Opel Cadet correctly with the lightest components available you could get this down to 548 kilograms but you can't put much horsepower in it because it increases the weight too much. But 548 kilograms in 10th place is still pretty good. That's half a ton and it's actually quite a beefy car. So at number 10 on the list is the Opel Cadet with 548 kilograms. Number 9 on the list is actually very close to the 10th spot, not many of them are actually this close, but it's the Porsche 718 RS60, a car that I never usually see around, but this car can be upgraded with the lightest components available to make 544 kilograms. Only 4 kilograms lighter, but it's still lighter. You get just under 300 horsepower in this though, so it's a little bit faster, but it's still mega light and it's nearly under half a ton, which is unbelievably light, but it gets even lighter, trust me. Number 8 on the list we have the Austin Healey Sprite Mark 1, I presume that is, at 526 kilograms. You only get 200 horsepower in this for the, uh, the weight available. All of these cars I tried to upgrade the best possible to decrease the weight. I didn't put anything in it that would increase the weight, um, just so we can get the smallest figure possible. But yeah, in 8th place the Austin Healey with 526 kilograms. Now in 7th place, this is where we get into the really weird stuff, we have the Ferrari 166mm Barchetta, I have no clue how to pronounce it, I didn't even know this car existed until I saw it and upgraded it, but this has 521 kilograms. and now from now on the cars are going to get super light, but with 521 kilograms, you can actually get nearly 500 horsepower in this Ferrari, so this is quite close. To a thousand horsepower per ton in this Ferrari which is quite incredible but at seventh place we've got the Ferrari however you say it 521 kilograms very light next up in sixth place we have the Morgan three wheeler which weighs 475 kilograms you can get 238 horsepower out of it at 475 kilograms. I honestly thought that I'd be able to make it a little bit lighter because of how small it is, but it was inevitable that this was going to be on the list at some point because it's, you know, it's a small car. It's got three wheels and it weighs 475 kilograms. It's a bit difficult to drive. It's a bit slow, but nevertheless, it's one of the lightest cars in the game. Now we're getting into the top five. This is where it gets extremely light. And I'll say again, these top five don't actually include the PLP50, the Trident or anything like that. 
But on the fifth spot, we have the Caterham Superlight R500, which weighs 474 kilograms with over 500 horsepower. So this has well over a thousand horsepower per ton. It weighs one kilogram less than the car before this, which is quite close. But this thing's extremely fast and obviously extremely light, well under half a ton, and it is at the number five spot. At number four, we have the Donkervort D8 GTO, which weighs 455 kilograms with 695 horsepower. This is easily the fastest car on this list and it comes up at fourth place. And I think the brake horsepower per ton in this car is something like 1,500 or something, which is absolutely mind blowing. So not only does it have one of the highest brake horsepower per tons in the game, it's one of the lightest cars in the game and it handles the power very well so I was quite surprised when I came across this at how well it was so yeah number four on the list is the Donkervort number three on the list is quite close but is the it is the Myers Manx which has 449 kilograms but only has 190 horsepower so not very fast at all it's quite boring but yeah 449 kilograms because it's so light it deserves to be on this list and it's in the number three spot and the next ones are actually quite surprising to be honest with you second on the list is actually a car which i really didn't think it's the lotus 11 it's some kind of old-fashioned classic sports or race car and it weighs 424 kilograms and has more horsepower than kilograms so it's got over a thousand horsepower per ton so it's very fast as well but look at it it looks pretty cool and you wouldn't think it weighs only 400 kilograms it's quite incredible i knew this car would be on this list at some point but i did not think it would manage the second spot the lightest cars in the game is the lotus 11 now for the number one spot is the 595 assess i'm gonna take a punt and say that's that's how you pronounce it but this weighs only 414 kilograms this is apart from the obviously light cars this is the lightest car in the game it has 234 horsepower so it's, it's reasonable but it's not that much but it does only weigh 414 kilograms so it is still pretty rapid as i said i left four cars out that were obviously light one of them is the bmw i setter which weighs 376 kilograms at its absolute lightest but you can only get about 50 horsepower so it's extremely slow and extremely boring but 376 kilograms is very light then the third one is the Reliant Superman, which weighs 350 kilograms. You get 152 horsepower, so it's a bit more horsepower. 350 kilograms, it's already getting pretty light. And you already know what the number two and the number one spot is. The Peel Trident can be upgraded to weigh only 153 kilograms with 77 horsepower. So, eh, it's all right. 500 horsepower per tonne's not too bad. But the absolute lightest car in the game the lightest that you can make any car with any upgrades in the whole game is the Peel P50, obviously. You can upgrade this to weigh only 123 kilograms. I weigh about 60 something kilograms, so that's just two of me weighs the exact same as that whole car, which is pretty mental. I didn't really want to add those four to the actual list because then it would just be you know people expected those four to be there so it'd just be six cars that are surprising so i did 10 cars which are lightest not including the four that are obviously going to be on there anyway and the ones i'm probably most surprised about i'm surprised about the donker board and the lotus 11 the ferrari as well and stuff like the porsche 718 i wasn't expecting any of those to be on the list at all but as I said, it took, it took me a few hours to go through all of the cars that had maybe less than a thousand kilograms. 
Um, I wrote them all down, wrote the stock weight. I went through and fully upgraded them all to make them the lightest possible. And then I wrote down the results and picked the top 10, obviously. I'll say again, the cars weren't fully upgraded. They were upgraded to make them as light as possible. So I like doing these type of videos because I get to spend some time looking properly into the game, looking at all the cars, and it's the kind of thing which people may be interested in but just can't be bothered to look into. So if you were wondering what were the lightest cars in the game that you can get into uh, with some insane power to weight ratios, here's the top 10 list. Please let me know in the comment section below if you want any other similar videos. Maybe I can make the heaviest cars in the game, just upgrade everything to be super heavy and then write down the ones that are the heaviest. Just anything, anything at all. I've done the highest horsepower, I've done the lowest weight, what else can I do? I'd like to say thank you all for 98,000 subscribers, we are getting so close to 100k, but I'm taking it steady, I don't want to smash out too many videos and then run out of ideas when I get to 100k, so we're getting there. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.